Welcome back. It's a follow up on my sandblasting cabinet. I have uh, finally, I think, got it to work somewhat. This is what I did. I uh, shortened that pipe up. Actually, that pipe was over here. So I just took and turned the whole thing around and uh, made it as short as possible so that the sand will come down. And this is the air that mixes with it and then it shoots it out the hose. You can see the media up the hose there a bit, but that is just about as high as I can get. It'll pull up sometimes, and sometimes it'll wanna surge a little bit. Uh, I adjust that air pressure. Um, I've got it set right now at, uh, it's about 40, 50 pounds right now. And I'll show you what it did. Now, I worked probably close to, oh, 20 minutes or so in this piece. This is as clean as I got it. Now, this is sandblasting here. And this is taking it down the middle. That's what I want. That's what this is not. It takes off the surface rust, and that's it. And it just does not impress me at all. Um, I believe what I'm going to try is a different gun. I hate to sink a whole lot more money into this cabinet because I really don't think it's going to do the job. And because, uh, let me show you what I can do with a grinder and a wire wheel. The caution with a wire wheel on a grinder, you can see it sitting over there, that uh, you have to wear, definitely wear eye protection and make sure you've got gloves. Trust me, I know I've been there. That thing gets away from you and it'll take the skin off in a heartbeat. It'll take meat off right down to the bone. So we put leather gloves on. And I'll show you now what a leather or what a wire wheel will do in a short period of time. This might be a bit loud. So now you see, I don't have a guard on that. Yes, that is not a good thing. But you got safety glasses on and you got gloves and you see how that thing jumped around how it got on the edge and just pops around you got to be real careful now the difference is when you sandblast that takes all the, the rust out of the little pits that is the advantage of sandblasting um, as far as getting the surface rust off the top maybe this is the way to go first you then hit it with the sandblaster, but like I said, I spent 20 minutes to a half an hour just to get what I got. And this, this is what I want. Not this. This is just not satisfactory. But, again, maybe with the wire wheel, take that off, get it down like this. I don't know if you can see that well on that, in the camera or not, but it's, it's smooth. You know, it takes all that, that rust off and makes it smooth. But all the little pits in there are still full of rust, and so you can't paint that because it'll come back. So, anyway, that's my take of the Harbor Freight um, sandblasting cabinet. I am not very impressed at all, but then again, it's Harbor Freight. So, everything that you get from Harbor Freight, you got to realize that it's subpar stuff it gets you by some things are better than others i still buy a lot of things from harbor freight but there are some things that just don't cut the mustard when it comes to doing what you want it to do so anyway short video thought i'd show you all that and uh, we're going to keep progressing maybe a little bit on this cabinet we'll see i don't know i'm just 
I can't spend hours and I mean and my compressor runs continuously pretty much you know so it's like that is not good either because it gets hot and uh, you know it's just I don't want to wear the compressor out just because of this deal but possibly a different gun might help I don't know but you know the new guns you get a decent gun like that and you're looking at 70 80 bucks and it's like and then a lot of them aren't even made with a trigger on it they got you got to put a foot pedal down and run it off of that and uh, so I you know I'm not going to get spending 150 200 bucks on a setup and then find out the stupid thing still don't do anything so I've got right now I sit down and figured up everything that I've got in it right now and I bought it used now granted that that Eastwood uh, dust collector this is this brand new is about 265 bucks I think so take that for what it's worth it is used but it it does work really well um, but everything that I got in it I got close to about 360 bucks in purchasing it used and doing all my my uh, bit of work to it and stuff so yeah, I'll never get it back, but well, we try. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching, subscribing, and we'll bring it back for some more exciting videos. Well, I'm back. I, you can hear, I, I left the uh, dust collector on just to let you hear it, but pretty loud. You shut it off here. I tell you, that's a Jim Dandy. I think I found the problem. I uh, put it back in. This is the piece that I was just playing with before. And there's the back side of it. It was all rusty. And uh, I finally got it pulling some decent media up. I changed the tip in the gun. Show you what I did. This tip, I went with a bigger tip, and what a difference! Now you can see the media where the media is at right now. It's right here before it was clear down here somewhere. So, and it's pulling it up really well. So, I'm going to take this piece of trim, which is really rusty. And we're going to shoot it next and I will bring you back when I get that done but uh, yeah once I change that tip out and didn't change my air pressure or anything and boy she just started sands just started pouring out of it and uh, so I might even be able to push my pressure up a little bit more to make it work even a little bit quicker but uh, yeah I was able to clean that all up and oh five maybe ten minutes if that and that's what I want so let me uh, get go with this and we'll I'll time it and we'll see how it does what a difference as you can see that's the after whoa that's what I'm looking for and it took me ten minutes some area down here that probably could use a little bit more but uh, yeah buddy it's that's pretty stinking clean I mean I've, I've seen it better but uh, <laughs> compared to what it was doing I'll take it so bigger tip is the uh, was the ticket along with everything else that I did I think you know I think if anybody's building one of these um, Keep in mind where you put your uh, valve close to the uh, where your media comes out of the hopper, and uh, and it's nice to put a clear tube on it. That's a nylon reinforced plastic line, half inch inside diameter, and um, because then you can see your media. You can 
and see see how high that meaty is. Boy, that just when you you hit it. So let me see if I can do it here. Leave the door open a little bit. Watch that that media suck up there. See that? That's what I'm talking about. So I think we got her fixed. And I'm not gonna even have to in, get involved with a, a new gun. At least I don't think. It seems to be doing the job pretty good. So it just takes time figuring stuff out. Well, we will proceed. I've got a lot of little parts, uh, trim parts and things like that that need to be done. I can't do big stuff, but you know, anything this size, I don't know what that is, probably about three foot, you know. So, my rockers. TLC. Well, my uh, last night we had a bunch of rain, and uh, my when we get wind with rain, my ceiling leaks up there, and it dripped down on it. And you can see the wetness on the floor there. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll take those and put them in there and clean them up even better. Here's the other one. Got a little bit of rain on it too, or water. So yeah, it's working. Too bad I couldn't get that whole door in there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I think we've got the uh, Harbor Freight Sandblasting Cabinet Saga figured out. If it starts working even better, I'll bring you back.